Hey everyone, here's a question. Question is, find the largest number which divides 615 and 963, leaving a remainder 6 in each case. Which means, when you're dividing with this largest number, this number can be any, like that is what we have to find out here. So when you're dividing with this number, both 615 and 963, there's a remainder 6. Now what is that number we have to find out? So whenever we have to find out the largest number which is dividing the given two numbers, we usually find out the highest common factor. Because highest common factor is a number that is the highest number which divides a given two numbers or three numbers. But since we have given there is a 6 also, like 6 is a remainder here, then how to solve it? So since we have given the remainder, there is only one extra step here is we have to remove this 6 from the original number. That is if you remove, that is you have to subtract 6 from the 615 and 963. So that whatever number you are having, uh, that will be uh, like it, it is completely divisible by this largest number. You can able to find out the HCF. If they have not mentioned like uh, the remainder is 6, like they have not mentioned the question, you can directly find out the HCF of uh, these two numbers and then you will want to get the answer. But since we have mentioned there is a 6 as a remainder, we have to subtract it. So let's find out. So we are going to first subtract this two uh, 6 from both the numbers. So here is a solution. So 615 minus 6, when you do it, you will get 609. And uh, similarly, when you subtract 963 and 6, you will get 957. Now, I'm going to find out the HCF of 609 and 957. I'll get the largest number which will divide 609 and 957. So, there are two methods. One is a long division method and one is a prime factorization method. So, here I'm going to follow a prime factorization method. You can go with the long division method. You're going to get the same answer here. So first number is 609. So we have to take only prime numbers because the prime factorization method. So take 3 because it doesn't go in two tables. So I'm going to take a 3. 3 2s are 6. Then we have a 0. Put the 0. Then 3 3 is a 9. The next we have a 203. This goes in 7 table. This is the next prime no next number is uh, 5. It doesn't go in 5 table. 203. So next is 7. So 7 2s are 14. 6 will be the remainder. That makes the number 63. And 7 9s are 63. That's it. And 29 we got. 29 is a prime number. So 29 1s are 29. The next we have is 957. So this number again goes in 3 table. Right. So 9. 9. Uh, sorry. Uh, 3 3s are 9. Then 3 1s are 3. 2 is a remainder, so 27 we got, so 2, so 3 9s are 27. Next we have a 319, uh, this number doesn't go in 7 table, it doesn't go in 5 table, the next prime number is 11, so let me try with 11, so 11 2s are 22, so when you subtract 31 and 22, your remainder will be 9. Right, so that 9, I'm going to put this along with the other 9, that makes the number 99. So 11 9s are 99. Erase this. Okay, then we have 29. So 29 1s are 29. Now let's find out here. So we got 609 is equal to, write in all these factors what you got. It's a 3 into 7 into 29. The next we have here is 957 which is equal to 3 into 11 into 29. Now we have to find out the HCF. So HCF is HCF of 609 and 957 is. Now you have to circle up the one which is present in both. The factor which is present in both. So here 3 is present in both and 29 is present in both. So you have to take both the factors. That is, th from here I'm going to take one three, and from here you take one twenty nine, and you multiply. So after doing the prime factorization, you have to take the common factors, factors which are present in both, and multiply them. So when you multiply these two, you will get here eighty seven. So the largest number which will going to divide six hundred fifteen and nine sixty three is uh, eighty seven. So therefore, largest number 
which divides these two numbers is 87. Now you can try and check out, you can divide 615 with 87, you will gonna get the remainder 6. So whenever they are giving a remainder in the question, subtract them and then you find the highest common factor. So that's it, I hope this question is clear. In case you have further question or doubt, you can leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching.